Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. So, mage, huh? What's it like, Commander? So this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. That I am. A proper Orzammar mason. Although, I suppose I'm a surfacer now. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours. But I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ah! I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. I don't know. But no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface either. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. What? What? You were staring at me, you man skirt wearing. F Very well. Freak. Oh, I thought you were being attacked by a wild animal.
spring has begun. Back memories. Very well. It is begun. Very well. It shall be done. Oh, thank the Maker. Please, let us out. Quick, before more of those things come. She couldn't have shown us the courtesy of waiting a bit longer before becoming a ghoul. Shall be done. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I, well, you hear the stories about you and the Wardens, but to see it firsthand. Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you, you're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. 
I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. I, the Orlesian lads, would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood. There are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. Just give me a moment. I shall do it. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. As you say. Should we get a move on? So you're the new commander of the Grey. <laughs> the one they've been talking about. I assumed you would be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes. I would have thought you Grey Wardens would be more impressive. My name is Nathaniel Howe. My family used to own these lands until your order murdered my father. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know your order defeated the Blight and won the war. To the victors go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you, Grey Wardens. And now you get to decide my fate. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go... I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, 
poisons. Why? What do you care? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. The house served Ferelden for twelve generations. My ancestors served under King Kalanhad. And now it's all lost. So go ahead, and do what you're going to do. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Uh how? -huh. He figures that they would turn up again. The house are implacable enemies, Commander. You're doing what? Commander, that... I must object. You want to let a thief keep what he stole? Yes, Commander. You heard the verdict. Come with me so you can collect your things. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. It shall be done. Dirty little dwarf, aren't you? Did we have to come home? Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest... ...and bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought... Well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! Oh, of course. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium? Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Heren, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. You're back. You need anything? To 
providing arms and armor for common soldiers of the indignity. If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite? Viridium? Or are we back to bronze weapons? Stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Oh, of course. Another step, and poor Lady Eileen dies. Where's Lord Bensley? The deal was he'd give us the money himself. Orc, show her. Hand over the gold. Now. I'm not some moon adult simpleton. The gold. The Arlesa herself. Snake, we're done for. Shut your trap. We still have the girl. You had your chance. Kill her. The warden bleeds like anyone else. Attack. As you say.
actually think your jokes are funny, do you? Could have sworn that fl Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. He was a devious asp of a man, and the right hand of Tern Loghain. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs, so I say, in the sight of the Micker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck. And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Ruling this Arling will be difficult enough because of your tenure at the Imperial Court of Arlais. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. No, it is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the Griffins of old would breed, but their like will never be seen again. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. Very well, Commander. It's good to be all right. The bowing, the social climbers who do anything to get ahead. If you see any stray damsels in distress, send them my way. Regardless, I overheard something. Some nobles were gathered at the alcove. I couldn't hear much. Something, something must be dealt with. Something, something all in agreement. Not much to go on, I grant you. But they were being furtive, and I sensed they were trying to remain concealed from you. I'm not implying anything. I'm saying there are traitors in our midst. I believe some of these nobles seek a convenient end to a messy problem, the problem being you. I could paralyze them to search for evidence, but the Seneschal may have more diplomatic ideas. And so Ferelden bends knee to Orle yet again. Hush, Lord Guy, people can hear you. So, what do I care if the great Orlesian Warden is offended? My father died kicking the Chevalier's royal asses out of this kingdom. You think to threaten me? You've had enough to drink, my lord. You're disrupting the festivities. 
Ferelden is still smarting from a hundred years of occupation. I beg you to have mercy on Lord Guy. He gave voice to what many are thinking, if too polite or too timid to say it. I think that's wise, Commander. This is what I'm talking about. Skirts, drink, and music. <laughs> you think one of them would give a A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Honor to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbrecht. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbrecht. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? I only ask that you consider the people, your people, when making your plans, Commander. I see that Lord Edelbreck wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options. Some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. Not bleeding lightly, in truth. Good men, lousy spies. You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, well, you get the picture. It's a terribly Orlesian thing to do. Pardon me for saying so. You need to head to the city, then, and chase down a ghost. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to.
going to assume that something died in your mouth. Funny story. Dwarf attacks mage, dwarf wins. Yeah, it I is begun. how you pissed in your armor in that last fight. Well done. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Right you are, Warden. We'll get these walls rebuilt for you. Ah, it's the Warden Commander. The rumors about you did not overstate right. it. Aye, we're in a city. Where's Look the Look by the house near the gates. I promise it will be worthwhile. Looking for some company, honeybuy. I'm always available for riveting conversations with fine women. Oh, here to investigate the chasm, are you? It's about time. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. That buck was a sly one, he was. He had big feet and a... <clears throat> oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our eyes. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it. But it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, people, I suppose. Maybe even the Darkspawn. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe. And he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the dark spawn appeared. We got lucky. They seemed occupied, like they had someplace really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the maker. The dark spawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, are we getting anything for our trouble? Thanks. This'll get me good and drunk at the inn. Take my mind off the trouble out there. Why won't you let us in? My pardon, sir. I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to you. 
I told him I did. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. Some visiting knight didn't catch his face. Full helmet, you know. He said he was Sir Wolf of Ravain. Ah, oh, the Dark Wolf, nothing but a rumor. Mind you, he was acting suspicious. No, sir. Again, my pardon. It's the constable's orders. There's no place for you in the city. Well, they don't look infected. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Look, we let some in, we'll have the rest crashing at our arms. I'm glad to see you. Some of my men said an Orlesian wouldn't care to help the people. Nice to see they were wrong. Then you should see if you can do anything to relieve our troubles. With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. Make a threat on you, you heartless bastard. Greetings. Could I interest you in... Uh, wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talking to the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. Enemies approaching! It is begun. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here. I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Yes. Thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes and... But there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise.
Greetings, Warden Commander. You're the sort who delights in helping the common man, yes? May I direct you to the Merchants Guild's board? Folk here often need goods from far-flung parts. They post the requests here. There is good coin in this, particularly with trade halted by the trouble on the roads. If you ever feel inclined, please take a look at the jobs available. As you say, it is begun. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh, the less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators. But to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Too rich for you, I will wait. Every day you wait, the conspiracy closes a noose around your neck. Too rich for you, I will wait. Every day you wait, the conspiracy closes a noose around your neck. I thought better of you. No matter. I will not go quietly. Men? More enemies ahead! I shall... <laughs> 